What's up guys, Black Holes here and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Stack Manager 2020 for the start of a new mini-series. Once again, uh, we had done Golden TJ a couple of weeks ago where we took BMC on the 2014 uh, database of Pro Stack Manager and gave him the opportunity to win a Grand Tour. Today we're going to do something somewhat similar. We're still on the Tour de France, we're still going to take a rider with whom we'll try and win the Grand Tour, but we're going to take a rider that has previously won a race. You've probably seen it by the thumbnail and the title. But before we take a look at the team and the, well, the rider I'm taking, we'll take a quick look at the parkour of the 2017 Tour de France Tour that started in Germany with a prologue between Dusseldorf and Dusseldorf. Then we headed to Belgium for two days and a hilly stage with La Plonge de in the first week. Uh, to try and create some uh, some gaps earlier on, uh, then some uh, some sprints, a hilly stage in Station des Rousses, a mountain stage um, that should be quite fun to play. Uh, sprints, sprints, mountain in Peragud, uh, I believe Valverde won in real life that year. Then a stage between Saint Giron and Foix, very short stage, uh, so it could be quite interesting with um, the Mur de Peguer, I think. Yep. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Blagnac Rodez, Le Puy en Velay, uh, sprint, Serge. Col des Oars, and then uh, flat, short time trial, and the famous stage on the Champs Elysees. We have a start list for the 2017 Tour de France. And without further ado, we are going to take the team Trek because we're trying to go for one last bang with El Pistolero, Alberto Contador. Uh, I won't take the accent <laughs> throughout the video in the series, but yeah, uh, it's a stronger team compared to um, to BMC. But um, overall, the game is, um, I mean, the, the teams were, were better that year. I thought about taking Astana uh, with Fabio Aru because he's really dipped since that. But uh, there was nothing for the sprints and I felt it could be quite boring. Uh, I thought about BMC, but TJ wasn't here, sadly. I thought about Cannondale, uh, but again, no sprinters. FDG, done that last year with them on the Tour de France already. Uh, so I figured I needed some uh, so something new. I thought about a French team, uh, but realistically they were oh, they they all clapped. Uh, Lotto could have been fun, but I'm pretty sure I took Roglic in 2019. Um, and I mean it it wouldn't be interesting to take Roglic, right? We're going for something iconic. We're going for a man that shaped a generation. And who else than the steak eater, Alberto Contador? Also something I haven't mentioned, um, for those who watched my, um, my TJ playthrough, uh, you obviously know the, the outcome there was, um, and I figured I would try to maybe up the difficulty a bit, um, because my team is stronger this year. Um, so, again, for those who've seen the, the, the Tirreno playthrough, um, you know that I played on a difficulty called Unfair. Uh, now, it was the toughest thing I had to do, I think, on PCM since 2010, which is the year I started playing uh, well, PCM. So, I'm going to stick to Unfair this, for, for this playthrough. I'll see how it goes. If the first episode goes to shit, I'll go back to my uh, Tweaked Extreme, which is how I used to play uh, for quite a while. Well, yeah, un Unfair is not jokes. It's, it's literally the, the, the hardest thing I've ever done. But I figured it could be somewhat challenging because sometimes people that complain, sorry, complain that I win too much. So maybe this time I, uh, I won't be able to do anything good. We'll see. Our first rider to start the uh, prologue is going to be Heimar Zubeldia. Uh, at the time, he was already old. 75 mountain, 73 time trial uh, for a consistent top 10 finisher of a Grand Tour. Wearing the number 99 today, the um, 36, 37 year old Spaniard. Actually, I have no idea. Um, but yeah, Van Spierbrook is currently leading in Düsseldorf, and uh, I'm most likely not going to show many things before Contador. Potentially, like, I don't know, Fabio Felline, I don't know, about Kamalama, to be fair. Molama on the road, he'll be uh, my main helper for Alberto Contador, and if anything, he'll be my co-leader should something go wrong with uh, our Spaniard. Hopefully it won't, because that's kind of like the point of the series, um, but we'll see how about Kamalama fares in this um, inaugural prologue of the Tour de France. 77 prologue today for, uh, for the Dutchman. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. Monomer crossing the line in a couple of meters. We're gonna push him to the max. 
Across the line, 8th place, 19 seconds behind the current leader, uh, Garin Thomas, sorry. Thibaut Pinot is in 5th place. Wowzers! Quite a good day for Fabio Fellini today. Castro Viejo has absolutely murdered Garin Thomas this time. He's put 15 seconds, or 14 seconds, sorry, on Garin. Wow, that's 18 seconds on Luigi Port. 21 on Thibaut. Okay. Mental. Absolutely mental. Uh, Fellini though has a good day. 81 prologue for him today, 79 flats. We'll see what the Italian can do, the uh, now rider of Astana, who's had um, less um, results than he, uh, he used to. Um, I mean, he's still decent on, uh, on PC in 2017, I guess. So I'm not going to complain. Final kilometer, we're going to uh, come very close to Jacopo Guanieri. We're actually going to overtake the uh, lead out man of Arnaud Demar. And across the line, it's fifth place, 16 seconds down for Fellini. So two seconds behind uh, Garin Thomas. Uh, Stefan Kung is uh, very close to the time of Castro Viejo. He's actually the closest uh, someone has ever been to the time of the Spaniard in uh, Dusseldorf. All right. Oh my God. We start the race with a minus five on Contador. Good. Alberto is... What a, what a start. What a start. First intermediate, a for El Pistolero. Uh, for like, uh, 45. 43 seconds down. I'm gonna lose a minute and uh, I'm gonna lose a minute 20 today. I mean, I'm already in unfair difficulty. Having a minus four feel like overkill. 116. I uh, wasn't far off. Ben Martin is the uh, first one to uh, be ahead of Jonathan Castroviero at the intermediate in Dusseldorf. What can the world champion do? Wait, hold up. I'm watching Juventus Porto. Porto just scored at the 115th minute. They've knocked Juventus out. This is, uh, this is absolutely mental. Anyway, back to the racing though. Tony Martin overtaking the uh, Manx missile. 1k to go. Flammaridge for the then world champion of Katusha Alpesin. Was that already Alpesin? I don't know. At least Katusha, that's for sure. Tony Martin across the line. Same time as Castro Fierro, according to PCM. That could mean a win for either. Uh, we, we, we don't know. It's a win for Castro Fierro ahead of Tony Martin and Stefan Kuhn. Uh, all right, so sprint stage today. Minus one once again for Contador, zero for Degen Cole. I'm having great um, stats for my other riders. I don't really mind, or actually, I don't really care. And, and <laughs> wait, and Juventus just scored. So Porto hasn't knocked Juventus out yet. This game is absolutely mental. Um, I'm, I'm following both uh, as I'm like, recording this. Uh, but, I mean, wow. Big ups football. This, this is why we love football. Anyway, um, we'll be sprinting obviously for John Lane Cobb. He'll be my, uh, my main card for the green jersey on this race. Um, in my lead out, man, I'll have the likes of Fidini, the likes of Kunde Court, I believe Yalitsen Pantano as well. Yep. Um, no wind in sight. Uh, we've got a couple of riders in the breakaway going for the first KOM points. The likes of uh, Dimitri Kruzdev, Tom Leza, Dan Smith. And Roy Curvers, no, no rider from like a French team? Ah, there we go, Romardi is trying to do so. But yeah, that's quite odd. Quite an odd first breakaway on the Tour de France. You usually see someone from Direct Energy uh, or Coffee this attack. All right, we're in the wheel of uh, Dian Smith for uh, the IS. I'll see if uh, Michael Gogol can overtake the Kiwi. Oh, the... okay, the sprint was actually much closer than I had uh, anticipated. I'll try to launch with John Degen Cold, uh, but I guess I'm going to have a similar fate here. Nasser Wani, Shedas Plus. Nasser Wani did somewhat well here. Surprised by that. Uh, let's get water with the Dunning and Cold right now. And uh, let's casually go back in the peloton. All right, we've got some coins coming up. Um, I believe it was Tom Leza who got the points at the Grafenberg. Uh, we'll see what happens in the Côte de Lutiche and the Côte d'Henri Chapelle and the uh, Côte de. Is it Raffney? No, it's Raffney. My bad. My keyboard literally just fell on me. Um, but I'm seeing some, uh, some increased rhythm from Timo Rosen on the right hand side of the road. Uh, I'll make sure that he doesn't surprise me whatsoever. I'm actually gonna attack. Uh, I believe I've got the best acceleration out of the bunch. Actually, no, it's Dan Smith, but I'm by far the best rider in the heels, uh, and I shouldn't have too much of an issue. Going for the points, perfect. That's number one for Mikel Gogol. Second hill coming up. Once again, we're leading with Mikel Gogol. Uh, it should be an easy run towards the summit. Timo Rosen is in my wheel, uh, but he will not be able, or at least I don't think he will be able to. I'll retract my statement. Timo Rosen gets the points. 
How has he managed that? That was very odd. Okay, well, we need to get the points at the, the Côte de Rafay. Otherwise, uh, I might not be in the Polka jersey, but it comes the end of the stage. Dan Smith and uh, Tim Rosen have attacked me. I'm trying to come back uh, with the help or lack thereof uh, of Perig Kimener. I really want to get that uh, Polka jersey. Right, I actually care about it quite a lot. So let's, let's try to make a, a nice comeback here on, uh, on Dan Smith and Tim Rosen. The Peloton won't catch us. Before the uh, the summit of Côte de Rafet, then it'll be all about the sprinters, obviously. But for now, it's all about the breakaway. It's all about this little hill right there. It's one point three k, an average of six percent. Uh, sorry, an average of five percent and a max of six. It's not really that steep. Come on, son. Gogol claims the lead in this group. Uh, I don't even. I actually don't think that's a that's a wise decision. Um, oh, Timo Rosen launches early. Timo Rosen launches very early. 1.5, 1.6k for the Dutchman. We are in his wheel, though. Ready to bounce as soon as we think it's needed. There goes Mikel Gogol. Can we come back on Timo Rosen? Yes or no? Yes, we can. Two puntos for Mikel Gogol in this stage, meaning that I will be leading the mount classification with the Austrian at the end of the stage. 10k to go. We've got uh, quite a couple. Oh, crash! Big crash! The yellow jersey is caught in an incident. I've seen Michal Kutkowski, his Yurai Shagan, Rafa Maika is down as well. Michal Kutkowski is actually going to withdraw. Sixth place of the GC is withdrawing from the Tour de France at the end of stage number two. That is a massive shocker. Wow. Wow. Kundekort is now going to uh, lead the peloton. I can't really uh, be focused on on the crash or um, the riders that got dropped. I actually don't know who got dropped. I just know the yellow jersey is down. Um, the yellow jersey of uh, Jonathan Castroviero is, uh, will not keep his jersey in a uh, 1.4k here in Liège. Degenkolb is well placed. Though we're going to start the sprint with Mr. Johnny Degenkolb. Is it going to be a win? No, it's going to be a top five. No, it's a win today for. Andre Greipel ahead of Mark Cavendish and the world champion Peter Sagan. We come in seventh place with John Degen Kolb. Should have launched earlier with the uh, German sprinter. All right. Well, I mean, at least we finished in the first group with everyone. That's the main thing. Uh, although knowing that those are all stages on PCM, no gaps could be counted. Okay, there were gaps. Two minutes, to be precise. Primo Schroglitz lost two minutes. Guillaume Martin. Oh, yeah, but he was shit that day. Um, is there anyone else? Buchmann. Buchmann was somewhat decent. Mm, who else with the likes of Mikel Nieve? Um, although, I mean, he's not a GC guy now, is he? Uh, Roman Kreuziger for Ulrike Scott. Uh, Sepulveda for Fortuneo. Carlos Betancourt for uh, Ose Movistar. It was Movistar already. Diego Ulissi for UAE. Nicholas Roche for BMC. Janis Brekovic for Bahrain. Uh, so, yeah, no, no real leaders were, were caught up in, uh, in any incidents. Lotto did lose Bennett and Roglic though on that crash, which really sucks. And actually, Bora, Bora lost Maika and Buchmann as well. Okay, so yeah, they did take an L. And Jay McCarthy as well. Uh, all right. Yeah, okay. And Marlon Ketkowski obviously withdraws from the race. Uh, what does it mean GC-wise? It means that Stefan Kung is the new yellow jersey of the Tour de France. Geraint Thomas is in, third, is in second place. And Fabio Fellini is in third. That's not something I saw coming. Up next, Vervier Longui. Let's go. All right, it took longer than uh, planned, but uh, Porto did knock out Juventus. Absolutely mental. I feel like that's the 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 red tape or the the red thread. Sorry, throughout uh, throughout this early of uh, this early video or this beginning of the video, should I say? Sorry, Mikel Gogol minus four today will send the Polka jersey in the breakaway no matter what. Baucomolma is uh, decent today. So is Alberto Contador. We'll see if I can do anything in the climb toward uh, toward Longui in the Côte des Religieuses. Max of ten percent. An average of five. Here's an attack by Eduardo Sepulveda, I believe. Indeed, it is the, Aus the uh, Argentinian rider, sorry, from, uh, from Fortunio. Was it that year he DNF'd because he went into a car? I think it might have been the year before. Uh, but yeah, for those who don't know, he was um, like top 15 of the GC. Uh, he had a, a mechanical issue with his bike. His car went through, or went by, sorry. Uh, and he just decided to enter the car version of the Zéa Mondial. Uh, and like the so the, the, the DS of Adazel was like, who the f what the fuck are you doing? He explained his issue. He was like, okay. So he drove 
to the car of uh well he came back to the car of uh then i think it was bretagne i think at, at the moment um they fixed his issue and uh at the end of the stage he sadly was uh well disqualified for cheating uh, and I think that's the last time we really saw a decent performance from Eduardo Sepulveda in his career. Uh, it's quite a, quite a shame for uh, the Argentinian. We now ride, ride I think, for Androni, but I could be wrong. We're seeing some attacks on the left-hand side of the road here with uh, Scott Thwaites, Paul Martins, and Manuel Emore. Uh, Valverde is already chasing down. No, 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 no. Guillaume Martin, the uh, cyclist philosopher, uh, trying to go on the Le move, but the peloton isn't keen on that happening. Sepulveda, Lilian Kalmejan, in the wheel of Mikhail Gogol. This time I'm going to have to struggle, uh, or I'm going to struggle, sorry, to uh, try and uh, contain uh, these guys behind me when it comes to the mountain points. Uh, they're better than me, and I have a shit day. Uh, so we'll see how things goes in the uh, Côte de Cocafane. Sorry, Cocafane. Okay, now that's such an odd name. Uh, can we at least get Sepulveda? I don't think we did. We did not. Zero points for Google to start off. Perfect. All right, 3K until the uh, summit of the Côte de Schumansek. We'll see how things goes this time. We're currently tied on points with, uh, with Kelmejan because of the first climb. Hopefully things can go my way on this one. Uh, however, I do highly doubt it. Uh, let's increase our rhythm already. Trying to um, prevent any sudden uh, change of rhythm. 1.6K. I'll increase even more. Go 88. There you go. All right. There goes Kalmajan. I've, I've tried to cover it as much as I could. Uh, but I don't think I got it. Nope. It's a point for Kalmajan. Okay. I mean, everything isn't lost yet. All right. I need to get two points on the Côte d'Eschdor. Otherwise, we will be fucked. The rhythm is already mental under the impulsion of Eduardo Sepulveda. The Argentina crash in the peloton. Mike and Roglic really having a stinker at Tour de France right now. Those two, anyone with drink? Uh, let's hope for the sake that they don't. They do not. Okay. However, Kalmejan has attacked and I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, I've missed the uh, wheel and it's going to be third place for Mikel Gogol on the Côte d'Eschdorf. Meaning that Kalmejan will be the new poker jersey of this Tour de France. Uh, yes, that's, that actually it's for sure. Even if he finishes second, which he won't do. Five points available for the taking for the Frenchman. He's taken five. Wait, what just happened? Whoa, 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 hold up. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The main peloton has broken into main parts. Um, hold up. And there's 40 wind. I might as well try something. Especially if my sprinter is behind, so I don't really have anything to play for at the end of the sprint. They're, they're not really coming back, but they're not exactly uh, staying behind, if I'm going to be honest. Um, Alberto, just don't pace. That's all I'm asking. Um, like, the peloton is breaking in many elements, but I don't think it's really uh, viable right now to, uh, to carry on with what I'm doing. I will, however, try to get water with Bauke Uh But then... I mean, I think, yeah, if, if we um, have a 1 and a 2 bridge up, not sure, I will continue pacing. All right, 18k to go. Uh, and we only have Contador in the first group. I mean, we also have Bauke Monoma, but he's dead. We don't have a yellow jersey anymore. Uh, this race is absolutely incredible. This has been outrageous since the uh, third cat here. Who was the yellow jersey? Was it Stefan Kung? I think it was. Attacks. Attacks from Valverde and Daniel Martin. I did not see that coming. I did not expect that. Robert Hessink is next to me. Oh yeah, Hessink was still good at that point. Forgot about him. Um, right, we should be able to come back on this group, right? I mean, I'm with Chris Froome, so I'd expect we'll come back. It seems logical. Perfect. Yunis Aguirre is with us. Luis Mantiais as well. And Michael Albazine. A couple of good riders. Welcome Malma has been dropped. And is now with Carlos Betancourt, Mikel Landa, uh, Philippe Gilbert. Okay. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Who's pacing? Uh, Sergio now for uh, um, the Team Sky with Garen Thomas, obviously virtually leading the Tour de France now uh, with Stefan Kung and uh, Fabio Fellini being dropped. So right now he doesn't really have to work. Attacks once again. I wasn't paying attention, or at least my hands weren't on my keyboard. Uh, so I can't really follow that. 
Um, I'm actually gonna let Garin Thomas take points on that acceleration attack on the left as well from Warren Bargill. That's a very strong attack from Valverde and Dan Martin here. It's a very strong attack. That's actually potentially the winning, the, the state winning move here by, uh, by the two riders, the two classic men. They know how to win on these kinds of finishes. Warren Bargill is going to bridge the uh, two riders. Okay. Good. Good move by, uh, by Warren. I'm actually proud of him. I'm going to use the gel with Alberto in a couple of meters, I guess. Uh, we'll stay to, to 85. We're going to come back uh, on those three because no one wanted to collaborate uh, after Warren's uh, arrival. Interesting. 2.2k to go. Valverde goes again. We're going to follow him. Actually, we're going to fo follow Chris Froome. We're going to follow Chris Froome. 1.4k. They're strong. They're actually extremely strong here. Wow, 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 calm down. Chillax. Chill the fuck out. Okay, Chris Froome is going to win on the summit of the Côte des Religieuses ahead of Thibaut Pinot, Alberto Contador claims third place, Valverde, Dan Martin, then Nero Quintana, Romain Bardet, and Garin Thomas. If there is a gap between uh, A1 and the Peloton, the new leader of the Tour de France is going to be none other than Thibaut Pinot. And there are some seconds, 14 to be precise. Uh, I'm not sure that's actually correct, but we'll, we'll move and we'll glance over that. Thibaut Pinot is the new leader of the Tour de France, 13 seconds ahead of Thomas, 20, and 16, sorry, ahead of Froome. Uh, Contador is still not in the top 10 following this horrendous prologue he had, uh, so still a minute or more behind Thibaut Pinot. Print stage, and it's plus four for John Lingen Cole. Perfect. Uh, there are some, well, I mean, there is, sorry, some wind. Um, it's going to be quite straight the entire time. May see some uh, some um, gaps related to wind if if the wind picks up in the uh, next portion or the next part of the stage. But only time will tell. In the meantime, uh, all of our riders will go at the front of the peloton, and I will see you most likely for the. I'm very badly placed for uh, the intermediate sprint, but we're gonna go either way. With Johnny Degen Corb, I'm going to be blocked by Nasser Boigny here. I need to find a, a way. Now I've been blocked. I've, I've, I've been absolutely bamboozled. I've been shagged by this video game. Um, and that, that's very depressing. Here is our go back to protection. Thank you. He's in the lead. Frederic Bacart, a lone wanty rider at the front. God, where have I seen this before? Apart from every single breakaway from you and Fredo. Wind might not have played a part in this stage, however, we do have some gaps, we do have some riders dropped, the likes of Juraj Sagan. Uh, I just realized by seeing this that wasn't important. However, Esteban Chavez, 11th of the GC, is dropped. That is important. Christophe Laporte, the sprinter of Cofidis, so one of them is dropped as well. Uh, okay, I'm guessing he's the sprinter, or I'm guessing he's the favorite, sorry, uh, that is dropped according to the game. We're gonna go 99 with Marc now. Um, and do the exact same with Michael Gogol. Try to avoid Mark Renjo. Hopefully, I won't get headbutted. I'd love to be able to have a, some sort of, a, of clean air here with Michael Gogol. We should be able to do so. Though. 3k to go. Let's go. Come on. John Degan Combe is in uh, not the greatest of positions. Uh, however, it is not too bad. I'm going to go right now with Fabio Felline. Okay, turns out. No, no. Degan Combe is, is done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm in a very bad place. I'm in a very bad place. The win today is for Marcel Kittel, ahead of Greipel, Cavendish, Sagan, Feline, no, Christophe Feline, Degenkob, McLeague, Groenewegen, and Jakob Fulsong. I still need to work on my sprints uh, on this unfair difficulty. Because this was absolutely shocking. Alright, we're on the way for uh, what is the final stage of this episode between Vitel and La Planche de Belfille. Vitel, uh, which obviously is uh, a, a very famous brand of bottled water in France, something I hope I won't do today. Uh, and I do mean bottles. Uh, Contador has dropped many positions. I was at the front of the peloton. And I'm now mid midway like through the peloton. What's happened? I must have taken the most amazing blocks in the whole world. Uh, we've got some attacks here and there. Axel Dumont, Eduardo de Sepulveda, Ben Gastawa, Lilian Calmeja, and David Chimolai, Andre das Peloton. Um, because I was scared about Kamala was there. But yeah, La Plonge de Béfi, um, just like on the uh, 2014 Tour de France, actually, ma making uh, its apparition here. 
Uh, once again, it's the old finish, uh, so I need to keep that in mind. There's no gravel portion and there's no uh, left hander. So I'll have to use my energy before that. Uh, however, the minus one of Alberto Contador doesn't really please me today. Um, the zero of Boca Monoma doesn't really do me any, uh, any uh, doesn't really help me either. Uh, both will have the same notes, both 81, 81. Actually, no, uh, 81, 79 and 81, 81 for, my, for, for Boca Monoma. So ideally, I should go for Monoma. I won't, um, but I'm quite scared and quite skeptical in my chances of not losing time today. To cancel the uh, intimate sprints, I'm going to launch my sprints a bit early uh, in the downhill portion. Ketel is in my wheel. Marco Halla directly to my right. Uh, Ketel has stopped. I'll take the points with Dane Cole uh, because I, I, if I can't take the points on my sprints, I might as well try to benefit from breakaways. Uh, Greipel will end this episode leading the uh, sprint classification ahead of Ketel and Cavendish. Uh, we've got 47 points. We're already 60 points behind our uh, fellow German. Marcel Kittel, former uh, student at the uh, University of Constance, where I'm currently studying. That's for the name drop, obviously, as per usual. Uh, and yeah, we're going to start the uh, Côte des Moulières in a, a couple of, uh, of kilometers, in three kilometers to be precise. Uh, and then La Chevestre and La Planche de Um, What's happened? I was answering a, a DM on Discord. There's only 30 riders left in the peloton. Bargill got dropped, Mainzius got dropped. Wowzers, okay. Uh, I mean, I suppose that many riders are going to come back in this downhill portion uh, or in the valley towards La Chevestre, but that's very odd. 33 riders, no breakaway anymore. Esteban Chavez dropped, Yates dropped, Roglic, who's already 10 minutes down. Fucking hell, he's having a stinker of a Tour de France. Kroiziger dropped again, Nero Quintana dropped. Clark, uh, Simon Clark just crashed. Is it going to be a retirement for the rider from EF Education? Uh, from Cannondale, sorry, I mean. Uh, it isn't, but he's gonna, it's going to be last group for him. Poor lad. I'm seeing a lot of riders. Oh, Geraint! That's why I'm seeing a lot of riders from, from Sky. Geraint Thomas is dropped. Ooh, that's big. Wait, does that mean Chris Froome is on his own then? Oh, let me, let me take a, a quick hand. Uh, let, let, let me have a gander. He is. Chris Froome is well and truly alone in this peloton. That's not something he's used to. Um, at least not this far away from, uh, from the finish line. Very odd. Very odd. Uh, Thierry Pino on his own as well. There's more... De There's Dan McLeay. How in the fuck has Dan McLeay made it here then? <laughs> okay, I mean, my entire team is there. So yeah, I, I can't really uh, can't really say anything, can I? Uh, let's actually do a relay with everyone. Let's uh, make sure that the the guys behind don't really come back, because uh, I mean, if Gary Thomas is dropped, that's absolutely perfect for me. Um, Buchmann is dropped as well. Diego Lisi, Darwin Asapuma, George Bennett, uh, Herrada. Yeah, a couple of a couple of interesting guys here. But the main one being by far Gary Thomas Bono. I'm going to guess his tires are dead. All right, we're pacing in uh, the final climb, or the final part of this climb, and then uh, El Plancha de los um, Belefi. Well, no, Plancha is like literally just a cooking thing. I don't think it means plink, uh, plank. Uh, la, 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 so. la Plancha de la Bella Chicas. It's not Bella. Bella is Italian. Uh, is it Junta? It might be Junta in Espanol. Uh, no, 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 wait, hold up, no, no, what is junta? Actually, junta might be, pla might be planche, um, I can't, I forgot what the word for, for, for beautiful is. Uh, anyway, well, I'm, having, I'm, I'm literally just losing my mind right now over fucking nothing. Um, you lot, how about you stop that little rhythm of yours, and I'll take points with Alberto Contador, El Pistolero is going to be at the front of this group. Pokemon are protecting our Spaniard friend. Acceleration from Richie Port. It's fine. He'll crash in two stages, as he always does. Stage 7 is Richie's favorite stage. We all know that. Uh, Kundekot is holding on. <laughs> I love this game. Uh, Jakob Fulsang Emmanuel. Thibaut Pino is there. Rigoberto Uran is there. Chris Froome is on his own. Valverde, Maika, Bargil dropping a few percent. Nero. Naro Quintana will not win today on the Plange de Belfi. However, Richie Port seems 
in a great shape, in great condition to go and take that win here in uh, the region of Thibaut Pinot in the Jura in Franche-Comté, if I have to be uh, precise, uh, which is now the, the massive east. That's literally the name of the region. Uh, 29 seconds for Richie. Richie is on an another planet. Um, Bauke is still able to protect. Thibaut uh, uh, Thibaut's gone. Uh, sadly, Thibaut Pinot has exploded. The rhythm of Alberto Contador was just too much for the Frenchman. It's going to be between Contador, Alberto, and, um, sorry, Aru Contador and uh, Uran. But it's going to be Alberto Contador winning at the summit of Apple Level 3. We get a stage win, at least in this episode of uh, The Last Bang. Aru will get second place with Rigoberto Uran in third. Bauke Molema comes home in a very, very nice fourth position. Richie Port, who's done a lot, will come in fifth place with Chris Froome, Dan Martin, Roma Bardet, and Thibaut Pinot de Yellow Jersey um, wrapping up the top 9. <laughs> top 10 will be wrapped up by the white jersey of Simon Yates, Valverde, Zubelja, Maika, Fulsang, and Quintana to round up the top 15. Big L for movie star, um, with Valverde in 11th and Quintana losing up to 3 minutes, same time as Jesus Serrada. Uh, but one of the biggest losers today is by far this man right there, Gary Thomas, who finishes with Matteo Trentin. And that is a fatale when you're called Garen Thomas. And comes the end of the episode. I believe we will have a new leader of the general classification. Uh, I'm pretty much convinced it will be a Colombian, if I'm correct. It is indeed Rigoberto Uran. Rigo in yellow takes the lead seven seconds ahead of Contador. Uh, Chris Room is in third place with Aru and Richie Port wrapping up the top five. Thibaut Pinot de Formula Jazz is in 6th place, Bardet, Martin, sorry, Martin, Mollema and Aléran de Valverde in the top 10 of this Tour de France at the end of this first episode. A very eclectic top 5, um, or top 10, should I say already. Alberto Contador, despite not being in, um, in yellow, will be wearing the Polka jersey in the upcoming stages with Fabio Aru as his runner-up and Rigoberto Uran in 3rd. For the point classification, that was already settled with Andere Greipel taking the lead ahead of Marcel Kittel and Mark Cavendish. Contador is in fourth position. The best young rider um, is still Simon Yates. Not much of a competition, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, only Louis Mentiès uh, really able to compete for the white jersey. So I think Simon will bring the jersey home if he finishes the race. And finally, the movie star classification doesn't go to the Spaniard outfit, but to the Kazakh of Astana. All right. That was an interesting stage. Um, that was a very good win for me with a minus one as well, uh, but it's decent for the morale because it shows me that I can win in unfair. Uh, and that's not something I was genuinely convinced I could before today. So I'll take that. I'll take that. Very nice win. Richie Port really put the hammer down uh, and I, never, I didn't really know if I was going to be able to catch him or not, but I did. Uh, I was also able to drop the likes of Chris Room, which was great. Aru and Uran on the podium, that's an odd one. Um, Mollema as well doing very well. The then 30-year-old puncher. And Heimar Zubelja, 40 years old. So he was in 34, as I said, being, he was already 40. Fucking hell. Valverde seems like a, a, an absolute youngster compared to him. Uh, stonks. Brilliant. All right, uh, what, we'll have, what will we have in the next episode? Sorry. Uh, we will have a sprint stage between Vesoul and Troyes. Apologies uh, for that stage already. Then. Trois Nuits Saint-Georges, apologies for that stage. Dol Station des Roses, that's going to be a bit more fun. I'm pretty sure I've actually played a very similar stage on um, the YTC playthrough, or sorry, the Tour de France playthrough with the YTC uh, stage that I had won after losing Higuita and Court Nielsen were like 4k away from this summit. Um, then we'll have Nantua Chambéry, a very cool stage as well. Um, mountain stage without, uh, well, with a sprint finish. And Périgueux Bergerac to wrap up the episode. So three sprint stages, one hill, one mountain. We'll see how that goes, but that will be for the next episode. If you've enjoyed today's episode and um, if you've enjoyed this start of a new series, of a new mini series, then please do show some support by hitting that like button and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. If you've got anything to say in the comments, please feel free to do so. I usually answer to most of my comments. So if you want to have a little conversation, uh, then go ahead i'll most likely try to reply um and yeah if you're new on here subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of my content um i do mini series but i also do 
real races. Uh, I don't know when this comes out, but I believe Tirano has been released and soon we'll have Milano Sanremo on the channel. But I will see you guys in the very near future. My name has been Blago. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys. Have a great one and goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. What the mother man need feeding? I don't wanna go bomb Them I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bass. Snapping with a phone and dab. I'll stop a man with the duster. Put him in the drip and sip blockbuster.